really early on, I realized when I spoke to my teachers, I got a different kind of interaction with them than when I had to write something or put something on paper or take a test. Now my dad's dyslexic, my older sister's dyslexic and I am dyslexic, but at this time we did not know dyslexia really. And it was like, okay, you learn a little different. Uh, there was never like a, a label that there are now. Um, thank goodness there are, you know, you kind of figure out, okay, this is what I have. Um, but so I realized really early on, okay, I can talk to my teachers and they kind of interact with me a little different. I get a little bit of a better feeling than when I'm taking tests. It was always like, oh, you need to work harder. You need to focus, you know, what, you know, what are you doing? Why, are you, why are you distracted? All these different kind of things. And I remember very vividly, it was third or fourth grade, the entire class, except for, uh, another classmate of mine went to off to a room, you know, the teacher's like, okay, I want everyone except Juliet. And I'm going to call him Rod, um, to go and meet with, you know, Dr. So-and-so and And Juliet and Rod, you're going to go meet with Dr. P we'll call her. Um, she might be still in the district. You never know who's listening. So. Be careful. <laughs> exactly. So I remember my friends came running up and, you know, wh- where, where are you going? I was like, I don't know. Where are you going? And then I, I have no idea. I was a happy kid. I loved, you know, I loved, uh, really relationships. And so I had a lot of friends. I loved that kind of, as I said, like grew up in a household with five kids. I loved that kind of, just, you know, the craziness that when kids all get together and the excitement. So I was like, Oh, okay. I guess I'm not going with the group, but we'll, you know, we'll see, we'll see where this goes. So Rod and I walked off with Dr. P who um, I'll never forget was a really, uh, she was a slow talker. And it, I remember it like really being like, Oh, I don't, I don't like, I don't like how she's talking. She's very slow and it's making my, my head hurt. Like, oh my God, just spit it out. What do you want to say? So we sit down and she says, okay, Juliet and Rod, we're going to be meeting here every week. Um, I think it was even like twice a week uh, for the remainder of the school year. And we're going to be reading Blue Dolphin. And I remember Rod and I looked at each other and we're like, well, what are the, what are the other guys doing? Can we do what they're doing? No, no, no. And she was very serious, very slow talking. (laughs) She had very saggy boobs, but I'll just remember being like, oh, I just, I don't, I'm not feeling this lady. I'm not feeling this. 